hello friends uh, good morning good evening good afternoon wherever you are a very happy new year this is my first video so i wanted to come up with a new kind of interesting point to you so what happens whenever you create any organization let's say azure devops organization you create multiple projects and while creating you select different processes so what i am meaning uh, for suppose if i go to the home page of my organization and if i try to create a new project so you will have these kind of work item processes see basic uh, let me go to my other organization so to give you clear idea what i am trying to do here this is my another organization so if i go here and if i try to create new project if you see here i have only four agile basic cmmi scrum only four now what happens what is importance of these four processes so these four processes you can see the name itself work item process work item process in the sense whatever process that you choose here for creating your new project you will see only those work item types okay you will see only those work item types for suppose okay let me show you some multiple kinds of organizations or multiple kinds of projects that i have in my organization so i'm going to the organization settings i'm going to the projects you will see i have multiple projects where the processes are different scrum agile uh, then i have agile sub process okay different different okay now what happens if i go to any agile project okay if i go to any agile project for suppose if i go to this okay and if you see this agile project so this is agile project and if i go to the work item section if i go to the work item section i see maybe six or seven kinds of work items like bug epic feature issue task test case user story and now in your organization you are completely using okay you are completely using azure boards only for your entire ticketing it can be a problem ticket it can be a change request or it can be an incident it can be a work item bug test case anything so you are using azure boards completely for ticketing or completely for work item tracking now what happens in that situation you may need different kinds of work item templates itself okay work item templates are different kinds of work items itself for example you need a problem ticket you need a change request and you wanted those kinds of problem ticket and change uh, request kind of tickets that in your template itself now how can i do this how can i do this let's say if i go to the project settings okay here i'm using agile if i go to agile okay see these are the work item types i have these are the work item types i have so now i cannot add this i cannot add this under agile why because the four processes what i shown to you uh, let me show you again okay so i go to this organization the second organization which we use for our practices go to organization settings and then the process you can see here under boards there is only one item called process here you see we have four basic processes okay four basic process and they are already locked whereas in my other organization okay minimize 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 see i have again four basic or four default process that are given by microsoft they are already locked locked in the sense you cannot modify them cannot customize them then what i can do okay, then what i can do so considering our previous example go back open so my first project okay this first project if i go to boards okay i have only these four or five or six or seven work item types in this i wanted to have a separate work item type called separate work item type called problem ticket or change request how can i get that how can i get that now going to this okay uh, considering this first project okay this is first project and it is using make sure it is using agile okay now what i can do go to agile okay wait a second go to agile yeah sorry here uh, projects see okay somewhere i am confused Oh, sorry if i select this this way projects 
see here I have first project okay sorry yeah here I have first project so this first project is using agile process template but whereas in agile process template I cannot add a new work item type so for that what I need to do go back to the processes go back to the processes here you cannot modify this but I can create an inherited process see create inherited process create inherited process whereas I already have created a couple of samples agile sub process Rajesh or Gajil okay now I'm going to agile sub process in this I see I have multiple work items I have multiple work items so recently I created a release task this is kind of new work item see here I am seeing a new work item type let me show you what is the difference okay so if I go to agile okay if I go to agile under work item types I, I am not seeing any plus button or adding button but whereas in my sub process this is agile sub process I am seeing new work item type button new work item type button now what I will do okay agile sub process projects okay this is repo sample this is repo sample now I am going into this project okay I am going into this projects repo sample and boards here you can see I am seeing release task which is like a customized or, or newly uh, like my my self designed template okay if I open this see these are all the area I am seeing these are all the area I am seeing okay these are all the fields I am seeing now let me show you how you create this okay how you create this for that first you need to create an inherited process so create inherited process give it a name give the description or suppose I will show you uh, agile model I'm giving a name okay then uh, sub process under agile so this will create a process for me this will create a process for me but I am already done with that so I'm going into this so what type of work item you are trying to do okay you said you wanted a work item called problem ticket right problem ticket okay this is used to track a problem in the development okay development yes what kind of icon so what is this icon importance because let me show you if I if I go into any project okay if I go into any project okay discard changes when I click on new work item see by seeing the icon itself you will understand what is this work item so for that better choose a sample icon now this is going to be problem ticket right so problem ticket uh, what I will do maybe customer support yeah I'm, I will choose yeah this is problem ticket I can review I will choose this yeah problem ticket it's like a question mark what color you wanted so I will go with red color create see now a problem ticket kind of work item template is created for you now what you can do here here you can have different kinds of items let me show you uh, again going back to the process let me show you just give me a minute going to the repo sample uh, this is clearly confusing me when you have multiple projects you will get lost <laughs> sorry yeah, repo sample so here if I go to boards and go for release task see I am seeing problem ticket I am seeing problem ticket but uh, release task so there are only description and discussion there are no items now now you see here description discussion anyway it will come after creation now what I need to do the problem ticket will have some severity right so I will have a called severity okay and this will be this will be multiple okay this will be multiple uh, okay wait a second yeah oh sorry pick list okay so now I need to uh, CVRT of the problem okay CVRT of the problem now numeric value 1 add value 2 add value 3 add value 
for add value so I am going to create a pick list okay add field already used okay okay now what I will do criticality okay CVRT is already used so I will go with criticality okay and now let's say how critical okay how critical add field see how critical now I am saving this okay this is auto saved now I am saving this now I am going to the other area where I have this discard changes okay now if I go for problem ticket see this is my problem ticket if you see here new problem ticket field uh, sample problem then see how critical we have work item see we have a field input field we have input field here one two three four okay this is how you create different work item types in your existing work item process now what happens uh, where we started this conversation so we wanted to create this first project under first projects we wanted to create a problem ticket but now what I did okay what I did uh, go back to the work item okay discard changes so I am creating this problem ticket under repo sample no I wanted to have this problem ticket in my first project now what I can do how how I can achieve my requirement so your first project is okay your first project is in agile process so when you are in agile process you will not get the additional features of the other sub process okay where you are getting this uh, additional sub process you are getting them okay you are getting them in different process name called agile sub process okay agile sub if you go into agile sub process i have problem ticket release task i don't have those even i cannot modify this this is default one given by microsoft to achieve this what i can do is go inside this okay sorry go inside this agile select your first project select your first project oh sorry yeah here itself go back select your first project and here if you click on this you will get a option called change process change process now what I need to select agile sub process where I have problem ticket and release task work item types available save okay it is now using agile sub process come on let's go back to first project uh, project settings yeah earlier it was in agile now it is in agile sub process how can we confirm go to work items click on new work item see now you are seeing problem ticket and release task this is this this looks typical or critical or somewhat lengthy process but once you start doing this you will see the benefits how can you have multiple multiple process with multiple work items how can you change your existing project to the newly customized or newly created process so it will help you a lot you can have different kinds of work items you can have different kinds of fields within the work item templates so I hope this helped it and this will help you in your next learnings. Thank you guys. Thank you for your uh, support. Keep watching my videos and uh, continue learning Azure DevOps. It will give you a bright future. Thanks again. Once again, Happy New Year to all my subscribers and I hope good growth in this new year. Thank you guys.